So today let's start with chapter two, the role of information technology. Uh, as we already have seen in MA1, as well as in the first chapter, that in management accounting, <clears throat> in management accounting, we are supposed to collect cost data or cost transactions. And then we are going to report it to the managers so that managers can use it for planning, controlling, and decision making. Now, basically, whatever we have seen in MA1, we are supposed to do all this process manually. But obviously, it's the 21st century. And here we have option to use computer systems. So to use computer systems and some specialized softwares so we can conduct the whole of this process much easily. And how we can do it, obviously, there will going to be a specialized computer software that will help us to collect all the cost transactions and as well as also financial transactions. Basically, financial transactions is a part of financial reporting. And mostly we are going to do, or we are going to report it to the external stakeholders. But sometime our managers will also be interested in the financial data as well. So these computer softwares and computer systems, what they're going to do, they will be collecting financial transactions and cost transaction, all of the data. And automatically they are going to process it and they are going to report it to the managers. What will be the benefit of this? Obviously, it will going to save our time as well as efforts. The whole of this process, if we are going to do manually, it will require so much efforts and it will be very time consuming as well as costly. Because if something is going to take more time, so obviously it will be costly for the organization. So these computer systems along with the specialized softwares will going to help us to do everything automatically and obviously to save efforts and time and cost. These specialized computer softwares, basically known as MIS or Management Information Systems. Okay. Management Information Systems. Now in, in real life, there are different type of management information systems that we can use. For example, uh, most commonly term that we use are ERPs. ERPs basically stand for Enterprise Resource Planning. So these are the specialized softwares that organizations will going to use to um, provide meaningful information and report to their managers. And uh, there are different type of ERPs. One is very famous, for example, SAP. Second, there's one mm -hmm. more with the name of Oracle Financials and so on. These are just the example, but there are many more than this. Um, I'm sure if you ever visited any supermarket, for example, so what happens at the supermarket that when you're going to buy some stuff and you go to the counter, and uh, you want to pay something. So before paying, what they're going to do, they will going to take the product and they're going to use a barcode reader to read the data. What we call basically that EPOS. Yes. Electronic point of sale. Now what that barcode reader basically do, that at the moment that when that person will going to move that barcode reader over the product, it will going to collect the data. And then in different areas of the software, they will going to update that data. For example, first of all, it will going to record that it's a cash sale. At the same time, it will also going to record the method of payment. Mm -hmm. 
<clears throat> After that, it will also going to update the inventory record that we have sold this item and they will reduce the inventory and so on. So just by one um, barcode click or barcode reader click, they will going to do all these transactions. So when I'm saying cash sale, it will also going to update cash to your account and sales to your account, record the method of payment, inventory, date, time, all of this data will automatically going to be recorded. So obviously it will going to save a lot of time. So EPOS, basically this is one method of inputting the data into our MIS system. So this is one method of input. And what will be the output of this MIS system? The reports that we will going to produce for the managers. Now, what type of reports? It depends from managers to manager and organization to organization. Clear with this overview? Uh, yes, sir. Any question? No, sir. All right. Next, the topic list. So here, first of all, we will discuss the role of information technology or role of IT or computer systems or softwares in management accounting. Secondly, how we can capture the data or how we can get the input for our management softwares. Second, how we can store that data, what options we have simple as simple as that for example hard drives we can use to store data and so many other methods then output what type of output we can produce through the help of these softwares and ultimately the mis if in short or briefly if i have to explain the mis so basically any mis software sometimes these mis softwares can be very complicated as well but any MIS will always going to have three parts. First input, that mm -hmm. how we are going to collect the data, from what sources we are going to collect the data, and which devices we can use, because there are certain devices we can use to collect that data. Then this data we are going to input into a system or a software, where this data will going to be processed. And after that, we will going to get the output. Obviously output will be the reports as required by the managers for planning, controlling and decision-making. What are these devices? How it can process it? And what are the outputs? So these we will going to discuss throughout this chapter. Clear with this topic list? Yes, sir. Okay. Next, role of information technology. Computers are widely used for data processing because they have certain advantages over humans. Now, what are the benefits of using computer system? First of all, speed. It will going to process data very quickly as compared to human. Accuracy. In any computer system, we will always going to have some internal checks and internal controls. And, due to, and computer will always going to obey or we're always going to follow these internal checks and internal controls, what we are going to provide. And computer will never going to dis disobey that. So obviously the accuracy of recording transactions will be much more higher in computer system as compared to humans. After that volume and complexity, computers can process much bigger volume of data much more quickly as compared, compared to humans. Maybe for a particular, to process a particular transaction, human might need one hour, but at the same time, computer might going to do in a minute. And access to information, obviously, we can provide much more bigger access to computer system as compared to humans because of, for example, confidentiality issue. If some data will going to be processed by Human, a process by human, there will always going to be a chance that maybe that data can be um, misled or maybe misused in some particular way. But human, but obviously for computer system, we were not going to have that risk. So there are lots of benefits of using computer system as for MIS system, but there are certain disadvantages as well. One of the biggest disadvantage is computer system have lack of judgment. 
Mm. Humans always going to apply some kind of judgment in some particular situations that if they feel that these rules will not going to help us, so they will going to uh, deviate for or depart from that rule. But on the other hand, when we are going to talk about computers, so obviously they will not be able to apply judgment, even if something is going wrong, but as per the rules, the computer will keep processing it. So there are lots of advantages for using computers, but there are certain disadvantages as well. Clear with this thing? <laughs> yes, sir.